Hey, what's going on guys? Hopefully you're enjoying your summer holidays. And today I figured I'd do a video showing you how to download and install Clone Hero on Mac since it's officially supported by Mac now, which is pretty exciting. And I'll also show you how to add songs and download some drivers that you may need for your Xbox 360 Guitar Hero controller. So with all that out of the way, let's, uh, let's get right into this. The first thing you guys should do is head to the description below and you'll see a mega link, which will basically link you to the Clone Hero download. And it also links us to this file right here, which is a text file, which just contains some important information regarding the installation. So go ahead and download both of those. We can download by simply uh, right clicking on the file, hovering over download and then selecting standard download. Do that for both files. And uh, once you're done, we can begin the next step. So as you guys can see, I currently have both of the files on my desktop here. And the first thing I'm going to do is just click the mac.dmg file. And that should say opening mac.dmg. And I'm just going to drag this clone hero icon into the applications folder like so. And apparently I already have it installed. You won't see this message, so don't worry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. So there. Now we've technically installed clone hero, which is great because the next step will actually require us to run clone hero. This is a very important step, by the way. If you don't run clone hero right now after you've installed it, you cannot follow the rest of the tutorial. So go ahead and run clone hero. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit command space and that's going to bring up the spotlight search and I'm just going to type in clone hero. You can also get to the search by clicking the top right here, this little search icon, type in clone hero and go ahead and give this program a run and I'll be back after I've ran the program. All right, so I ran the clone hero application and then closed it quickly, which is all you need to do. And then after that, you can go back to your desktop and just head up here to this go button and go ahead and click go to folder. You can also hit command shift G to get there. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring you to this window here with a little text field. And what we're gonna do is just paste the following in this field here. And if you're wondering where this came from, I'll have it in the description below, but it's basically from the readme uh, documentation here. And we're gonna just click go. And it's gonna open up this directory here. And the reason I wanted you guys to run clone hero was because if we didn't, you wouldn't be able to access this directory here. So it was a really important step to take. So now that we're here, we can start adding songs to Clone Hero, but first we need to download some. So in the description below, I'll leave a link to this Google Docs, which just contains a bunch of different set lists from old Guitar Heroes, as well as some custom, custom created set lists from users. And we're also going to need this program here. Uh, it's called Kekka, I think. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it basically will allow us to open RAR files, which are a lot of these uh, set lists are. So once you have this program installed, uh, let's go ahead and pick a set list. In this case, I'm going to pick uh, Guitar Hero 2. It's my favorite one. And we're just going to click download and then click the drive link that it points us to. And that's going to load up in a sec. And now it's going to say, oops, there's a problem with the network. Just go ahead and click the download button. And once again, click download anyway. And it's going to download that set list. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and I'll return once it's done downloading. So as you guys can see, the Guitar Hero 2 set list has finished downloading. And as I mentioned before, it's a RAR file, so we need Kekka to open it. So make sure that's installed. And once it's installed, just right click, hover over open with and select Kekka. You may need to search for it in other right here, but in my case, it's default. And what it's going to do is it's just going to extract the Guitar Hero 2 set list to the desktop. That's completed. You'll see the Guitar Hero 2 set list on your desktop here or wherever you extracted it to. And if we just click this folder, we can see that it contains all of the songs from the Guitar Hero 2 set list. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this folder and drop it into this folder here. And now if we click the songs folder, we should see that Guitar Hero 2 folder in there, which means we have the songs installed. And the next time we launch Clone Hero, we'll be able to play any of the song off the Guitar Hero 2 set list. Now that we have Clone Hero installed and we've added some songs, the next thing we need to do is get our guitar working with Clone Hero. And to do that, we're just gonna to refer to the README file again. And in here, it says that the PS3 and Rock Band Wii guitars are the simplest controllers to get working because they have USB dongles that don't require custom drivers. So you can simply just plug them in and play. However, if you're using an Xbox 360 controller, which I think majority of us will be using, uh, it won't work on Mac OS by default. We need to download a driver. So in here is the link to the driver. And we're just going to right click and copy this again this will be in the description below and i'm just going to paste that in like so and now what i'm going to do is just click this link here 360 controller install.dmg and i'm just going to uh, save this to my desktop 
Okay, so here's the driver that we need. I'm just going to go ahead and double click it. And uh, it's going to open up. And basically, we're just going to click this uh, install 360 controller package. And we're going to go through the installation process. Basically, you just have to keep clicking continue, click agree, click install, and then provide your password. And I'm going to go ahead and continue the installation. And voila, the installation is completed successfully, which means we are officially done. We have Clone Hero installed, as well as some songs to choose from. Feel free to install some more set lists from that Google Docs, or you can head over to this site right here, which will be in the description as well. It's just a website that allows you to search for specific tunes and specific bands. And one other thing I'd like you guys to keep in mind is if you have a wireless Xbox 360 Guitar Hero controller, you may need an adapter. Actually, you will need an adapter like this right here. This is the official one from Microsoft. Um, and that should get you up and running. Otherwise, you should be able to just plug and play with your with your wired controller and there shouldn't be any issues. Uh, just make sure that if you have an Xbox 360 controller that you have that driver downloaded. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hopefully it helped you guys out. And if it did, please leave a like. If it didn't, feel free to leave a dislike. Let me know how I can improve. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial.